<coughs> hello, hello, hello. SG here. Just to say hello, little pre bobbles live stream. I just went to McDonald's. I know, probably not good for me, but I like the filet of fish, so. Mm. How's everybody doing tonight? If anybody's here, by the way. If anybody shows up, maybe I'll do the um, a chapter or two of that book I was reading last night. Possibly. We'll see. Especially if XX shows up. Do -do -do. Sorry, returning a text. I know it's late. I know you're weary. So, anyway, I um wanted to say that I've been seeing this Marcy Smith account going around saying some pretty shitty things and stirring up some drama places. So, I actually saw them on... On um, Sharon V's comments saying that in my live stream last night when I was reading, which I didn't see at first posted up the live stream. So at first I was thinking that they weren't posting the story. So um, I'm glad that they did. But yeah, um, that live stream that I did was about reading a book. It had nothing to do with Sharon V. So. If she does happen to see this, she can see that. Um, and if she goes back and looks at that. Hi, Jose. <clears throat> if she goes back and looks at that, she'll see that. Um, oh, shit, I turned off my air conditioner. It's hot in here. That um, I never said anything about her in my live stream. So, And I just wanted... You're on the bus? On the bus to where? Massachusetts? No, sorry, just kidding, Jose. I was thinking about reading a little bit out of that book, but only if I see XX or Adair, or anybody who was listening before um, to the chapters from last night, Michigan. <laughs> You're funny. Imagine. That'd be so funny. And um, I also want to say that I noticed that in Debbie's live streams, a couple of times people have been trying to create some drama in there, bringing me up, and I noticed that she's just been ignoring their comments, so that's nice, thank you, I appreciate that, Debbie, because I absolutely do think that Tom Reed must really, I don't know, maybe he crushes on you, because I think it's pretty messed up that he could not 
stop talking about you, even though he admitted in the recording um, that uh, you hadn't said anything in a year about him. So, pretty crazy that he uh, realizes that you're not even saying anything about him, and yet he still talks about you and admits it. Um, and I do think listening, and whenever I re listen to that recording, how dangerous was that? I know, staying alive, he really is. I mean, how dangerous is that anger that he gives off to so many people that he literally had a woman, not that he had her doing it, but that he inspired her to literally go looking for Gabby. That is so dangerous. He doesn't realize that the people that watch him that don't say anything or maybe the ones that do, how best maybe with him they could possibly be and the danger that he could be put that what that woman was saying about Debbie is a prime example of how he is putting people in danger him that was such a shocking let me tell you something I never asked him from a dime ever Never. Him sitting there saying I asked him for money. Wow. And that my neighbors emailed him and told him I'm faking cancer. What a lie. He is a liar. That man has some serious mental issues. He really does. He really, really does. That's why she even said that Amy there said, I didn't know you had a problem with, uh, I know, I know, and that's his fault, that is his fault, and you know what I heard, when I heard him say that um, he went there, you know, he said, I never would have gone there the other day if I had known that you put that video up. So he actually did go to see that woman. I mean, he was leading her on in some way. He really was. He was leading her on. I'm wondering if he's, but I'm no offense against Amy, but I'm wondering if he slept with her and then just blew her off. <clears throat> I'm not saying that's the truth. I'm just saying that for her to be that hurt, um, the way she was saying that Debbie now is to blame for coming in between them that and then he said that's true that's true like even to egg her on more i totally agree with debbie you should take that to the police i agree with debbie that is outrageous and him in a room full of that many people implying that my neighbors told him i was faking cancer i would love to see those emails that he's talking about the hell in the right mind would do that? That's insane. Insane. How are you doing, girl? I actually hope Debbie's listening to this in time. I am in shock. I I absolutely agree with her, and now I can kind of see what he's coming. From. It's possible that he was obsessed with her, and fucking doing the things that it, that's very possible. She really was going to hurt her. She said it. She said it in that video, and then the lies he was saying about Andy. He's a peep. 
He even said himself. Yeah, that is true too. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I heard her say uh, about being afraid even now to let her kids play. That is spot on. <clears throat> spot on there. I mean, wow. Shocking. That woman. In the she didn't sound all there. Actually going to search and hunt down some woman. Thinking that if she lied, God knows what she's capable of now. I, I, I think that he should absolutely take that to the police. I really do. I'm sorry. I really do. But him sitting there in front of, and, and he, and instead of mentioning that, like in a, you know, instead of mentioning that to that woman, saying all that shit, instead of talking sense to somebody who he knew had gone trying to hunt down Debbie, instead of saying, well, you know, she's got a kid, leave her alone, instead he has to consistently and admit that he talks about her every day, too. He did admit that. And he admitted that, I mean, and he didn't. Now, I've heard her, him refer to them as child as special ed, and I think that is so disgusting. Because I've heard that little girl talking and interacting and Debbie's toner, and there's nothing special ed about that child. And I just think that is so vile. And we will see all of that. Hi there. Killing bugs. Were they flying in your face when you were, when you were riding your bike? Sorry, I got cho choked up at the end of that chapter last night, but oh my God, when the dog was talking about being able to smell, you know, um, well, we were just talking about that recording of that woman. Well, we've been talking about a couple of things, actually. Um, last night I read like from five chapters from a book and then the last chapter that I read I got so choked up, Lemon, I could not um, keep reading it. I was so choked up. I had to end the live stream. I was crying. It's a book. It's not all sad. It's just like, you know, you know it's, it's happy. It's funny. It's sad. It's just a story told from the eyes of the, from the dog. And I um, got so choked up when the dog started talking about being able to you know, smell some disease in the in one of the characters in the book. I haven't finished it yet, Adair. I hope you'll be back for more. I, uh, did you like it? Was it corny for me to be reading it, or did you like it? Because I really love that book. Evidently, right? I'm bawling. I have to keep, like, stopping and taking breaths to read on, you know? <laughs> Oh, God. I, it wasn't like sad tears. I wasn't like crying for myself or anything. It was just the thought of the dog not being able to speak and tell her, you know, and how it made him feel. Uh, I, even now talking about it, I'm like, oh, my God. Can you just imagine? That's so sad. And I'm not going to lie to you, you know, that thought has crossed my mind, too, about, you know, because we've all seen those documentaries. Hey, Mark, how you doing? We've all seen those documentaries where, um, you know, dogs can smell diseases. And so when I read that, is that your dog, Mark? Is that a dog? Yeah, that's a dog, right? Or is it a cat? I'm sorry. I have bad eyes. I thought my dog even looked like a cat itself today. Today, I, I this lady was walking her puppy. It was a little, like, black lab. Must have been mixed with something, though, because it had a couple of spots of white on it. And, uh, and so, you know, I pulled, like, I was 
stopped anyway. So I said, oh, he, he looks new. But she said that she was a she. And they had just gotten her like a couple of, couple of weeks ago or whatever, a week ago. And she was so cute, this little puppy. And um, <clears throat> I said, oh, God, she's so cute. My dog had a fit. <laughs> it's a cat. <laughs> it's a cat. <laughs> it is a cat. Cute. Is it a tuxedo cat? My freaking eyes. I don't know if it's my eyes or if these avatars are so damn small. <laughs> oh, yeah. My dog had a fit that I called another dog cute. I have a tuxedo cat. Well, I have two cats. And one, he looks kind of calico, you know, um, but not as calico as my um, close call. What do you mean, a deer? And um, bugs flying in your face? Or, <laughs> or, or my dog having a fit that I call the dog cute? <laughs> Ugh. You ever, my friend one time was riding in that, yeah, I got a tuxedo cat called Tucker, and a, <clears throat> my other cat is new. Mm -hmm. Oh, and whether it's a cat or a dog. Yes, see, good, yay, at least I'm not that blind, or maybe we all are. I don't know how old the bear is, but Mark. Are you the one who puts your eye up close to the camera all the time? See, that's how we are. We'd be like, I can't see. I can't see putting our eye up to the camera. Like, it's so funny. Oh, my God. Mark puts his fucking eye up right to the camera. Can you guys see me? <laughs> God. Oh, I was telling, yeah, my friend one time, um, you know, like, you know, you go riding, like, he had a Harley, and he would, um, go driving, it is you, Mark, right, who puts your eye up to the camera, um, my friend was riding his Harley one time, and we used to live, like, uh, you know, like, out in the hill town, I guess you'd call it, and, um, it was getting, you know, like dust. And um, a bat hit him in the chest. Oh, my God. I just got chills thinking about it. And it kind of, like, clung there. And he, had, and he couldn't, like, you know, slam on his brakes or anything, you know? He had to pull over and get this bat off his chest. Could you imagine? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, that would freak me out. Oh, I could never imagine. I will tell you what happened one time, too, when we lived there. Me and my uh, my daughter's father, you know, she wasn't born yet, but we were, um, oh, no, 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 she was born. She was born because we had been out that night, so his parents must have had her. Um, So her parents, my mother, I don't know, who knows, but. It was one of our nights out after, you know, we had had her. So apparently we must have gone to some, you know, party after the bar closed. And um, it was like five in the morning. And we're pulling up. Because we lived like a good 45 minutes away from where we normally hung out. Maybe even an hour. Okay. You know, depending on where we ended up. And... Because it was the hill towns. We had a, it was a nice house. It was a nice A-frame. But it sucks to be living out somewhere that's so far away from everybody else. And you don't really like each other. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing worse than being in a relationship and feeling alone. Okay, Jose. Thank you. Stopping in. Make sure to press that thumbs up. Um, so, 
yeah. So anyway, you know, it was just such isolation for me, you know, because I had just had the baby and when I would drive home, like even if I wanted to go out that day and, you know, you think, well, you'll take a nap when the baby's asleep. Uh, but it was, a lot of babies will fall asleep in the car and that's what she would do. So by the time I'd get home, she would had her nap, you know. Uh, but anyhow, uh, so we had gone out this particular night and got home came home and and it was like five in the morning and we pulled up. And I remember, you know, we lived near woods and stuff, you know. Thank you, Jose. I appreciate it. Um so we pulled up and we see this like like warm you know, the sky is like tur- just turning light so you can see things, you know. Start just turning light. So I should say dawn, not dusk. Oh, dusk when my friend was riding his bike. When his bike ran his bike. It was like five in the morning now. So just turning light. You can see things. And we see this warm. We're getting out of the car. Starting to walk into the, you know, up the path. And there's like all these things flying around back there. And at first, we thought they were birds. And he said, he said, they're not birds. Run, run. We had to run through. I mean, there had to be at least, you know, a hundred or more bats that were flying around there uh, near our back porch. Oh my God. It was awful. 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 I'll tell you some funny stories about living up there. We got a, at the time, we had gotten a yellow lab. Uh, you know, we got the dog right before. Uh, you know, we had the, we had my daughter. So we had this yellow lab and he was just a puppy and we were, having a couple of friends come over for like, I don't know, I I think it was for dinner or something. Whatever. We had all been out that day. And they were coming back to our place to do a barbecue or something. And, uh, come on, second, hold on. So, as we're, you know, all walking up the path, our friends are in front of us, these two guys. And we said, oh, uh, we got a new puppy. And they're like, oh, really? I go, yeah, now you can see our puppy. Well, the dog, Buddy, like I said, was a yellow lab. And whenever we would get home, the st- you know, you have in the back door, you have one of those windows that's, you know, level with your head. And uh, the dog would, like, Bounce like on a pogo stick up and down, up and down, up and down in front of this window. So our friends get to the door first before we did. And they go, I said, Do you see our dog? And he goes, Is it green? (laughs) Is it green? So we laugh. We're like, no. Well, the dog I see here is green and he's bouncing up and down and he's green. Well, sure as shit, that dog was green. And the reason why is because I had left out a bingo blotter. You know, what are you going to do when you're pregnant? You know, I would go to bingo. And I had left out a blue bingo blotter and the dog had got it and when the blue mixed with his yellow he was green and oh my god there was this bingo blue all over the house and i'll tell you what that dog shit bright blue for a week for a week his poop was blue. Hi, Ministry. I was just thinking about you last night. 
I was like, oh, I wish I had a way to get a hold of ministry because I haven't seen her for a while and I hope she's fine. I hope she's okay. So, and then last night there was a woman on, um, but she was from New Jersey on, um, on Bob, not last night, a couple of nights ago on Bobbo's panel. It was Jersey Girl Forever, a very nice lady. And, um, she sounded like you. And somebody said, is that ministry? And I, and I started listening. And then I remembered, though, that she's from New Jersey. So she would have that East Coast accent, you know. But she did sound a bit like you. And so, like, so then, since then, for the last couple of days, I've been thinking about you. Because I haven't seen you. And I wanted to make sure you were okay. So, um, and, yeah, I was just telling some stories about, um, are you blocked from bobbles? I hope not. If so, I'll send her an email because you, you look at your dog. Oh my God. That's your, that's your chihuahua, right? Is it Lola? I know it's like a Spanish name, right? Is it Lola? I know. I love that. Oh my God. What a cutie. Look at how cute Ministry's dog is. I'll send her an email and see if you're black because I'd love for you to come there because we do have some fun. And, you know, sometimes, uh, Rose, ah, I was, so ah, was Rosita, Rosita, that reminds me of Sesame Street, Rosita, that's so cute. Hi, I am Rosita, <laughs> that little puppet from Sesame Street. Um, I was telling stories about my, when we had gotten our dog years ago. The dog has since been, you know, passed away, but, uh, years ago, this, it wasn't my dog, it was, you know, my daughter's father, whatever. Um, but we got it when it was a puppy. And he, of course, you know, puppies, they get into everything. And he had eaten a bingo bladder and turned blue. And then one night he, um, uh, Oh, eight. Oh, tiny, tiny girl. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he, one day, I mean, I don't know, like, we did try to, like, keep things out of his reach, you know? But when you're a first, you know, new dog owner, I guess you just don't think about those things, you know? So, this, uh, it was like a 10, I think mean, maybe a five pound, let's say a five pound bag of assorted nuts. We left them on the table by accident when we went to sleep. And when we woke up, that dog had eaten the whole five pound bag of nuts. And, and, um, the dog, his name was Buddy. When we would take him out to go to the bathroom, he would spin around and nuts would fly out of his ass. <laughs> it wasn't really funny. Oh, God. Oh, is your phone acting up? That's soft. I hate that shit. I hate it when my phone dies and I gotta plug it in when I'm on the, I'm on the phone. Yeah, <laughs> but he was, if he would get loose, man, oh, God. Hey, Kai. Bobo started already? Kai Bear, why were you in Burns today? Oh, my God. God, don't go there. Don't you know? Didn't you see that video? He's just going to think that you're like somebody sent over from one of us. It's just going to it'll start everything off again. Unless he knew you from before. Maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. You know? Um, I will. Uh, oh, curious. I thought so. I, I, I saw, I, 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 well, somebody actually said, uh, not that, you know, people are rough, but they just, 
not that they were looking for you. They were just looking at that, you know. Other people get curious, too. I'll send her an email, Minister. I will definitely send her an email. Because I'd love to have you back there. And I know you guys did talk, so, you know, uh, talk it out. So that was great. And Bob was a great person. She wrote me one of the most beautiful, beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Hey, Zufus. I was thinking of you the other day, too. Hadn't seen you for a while. So I was wondering how you were doing. You should check out Babylon when Bob was with us. Oh, isn't he? He is, Kai. He is. He is. Hey, Lo. That's cute that you say that. Hey, Lo. Usually on, on the nights of Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, Zupus, we head over. I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um. Oh, I know. I'm telling you, I dare. That last uh, last sentence in the book, how uh, he was going to protect Zoe, um, but he couldn't protect Eve, and he could smell what was going on with her, the disease, and, and he couldn't say it to her. Oh, my God, that choked me up right there. I, I had to just get off the, get off the live stream. I was so choked up. Did you like it, Kai? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I'm dying to read more, but then again, you know, I don't want to uh, step on Bobo's toes. And who could, you know? She is the queen of uh, uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, starting 10 at 10 p.m. I'm going to, uh, oh, Kai there, can you please drop Bobo's link? Please. Um, and I'm definitely going to read more from that book. Because uh, I, I love the, I love that book. I love the story. I really do, and I enjoyed the fact that Adair and Kai and everybody liked it. Ministry, you have to tune in because uh, if you catch up with it, even though I'm not sure if the first chapter is still posted, I'm not sure it was in a different live stream, and that night was kind of hectic with a lot of people that were they were fighting in the chat, and I didn't see it while I was reading. And yeah, we can. Our, our ministry even could drop all those links. You're both, you're both mods. Um, <clears throat> but I was so pleased to see that you guys enjoyed it. So, in the thank you, Kai. So, and I will send. I'm gonna send Bobbles an email asking her to, um, unless Kai could, uh, to unblock the ministry and do this if you. If you want to check Bobbles out, um, you know, she's not everyone's cup of tea, but she's funny as hell. And she does tell it like it is. And um, I'm sorry. I, I find her very amusing. And, but I tell you, that girl, when she wants to say something awesome, man, I'm even getting teared up right now thinking about her letter. Uh, what she said to me, her words, oh, they were beautiful. I can't even talk about them because they were so nice. Ministry is blocked from uh, Bobble. It's, but they since had the time to apologize. You know, well, she apologized to Bobble because it was, you know, ministry was full of grace. Full of grace. Uh, ministry is an awesome person. And we all have our days, you know. So it, it was. You know, I'll ask her and as a ministry, that doesn't mean, you know, don't feel pressure to come. Um, but I, I, I'm pretty certain everybody in there would be. Um, thank you. There's no bad. That's okay. I mean, uh, min oh, well, then I'll know that is you. <laughs> ministry. Okay. Okay. I okay, gotcha. Um, so. You know, if you want to check her out, you can. Um, like I said, don't let her, don't let the way she is on channel fool ya, because she's not always like that. She's a nice, nice person. She is. She is a nice person. And I don't care how many people will say, you know, oh, but, but I don't care. 
because I like her. And I've never, I mean, that's one of the most beautiful. Um, what was the other link you shared? I thought the other link you shared was Bobbles. What was the other one, Kai? <laughs> Kai Bear. Uh, I like her too. Oh, what do you mean for some reason, Adair? You are a likable person. Are you kidding us? You are a very likable person. Extremely, extremely likable. I think a lot of people in here are extremely likable. And, you know, I might have gone through a rough patch there for the last couple of weeks, week or two, whatever. But I'm going to come back, bounce back strong, and we're going to finish our book. And... We're all going to laugh like we used to. That's, that's my hope, you know, because uh, I just don't, you know, I'm happy to be alive for no matter how long it is. And I'm happy I lived through the times I did, to be honest. I mean, I had some of the great periods in, uh, in history that I've lived through, the 70s, the 80s. Can't beat the 80s. I'll tell you, the 80s were awesome. <laughs> and the 80s were the best. My favorite year of all was 1987. I was 19 years old. Poison and Rat, Judas Priest and Motley Crue. Man, Bon Jovi. Ugh. Just, uh, I'm getting chills thinking about them. Those were the best years ever. But, um, Kai Bear, what was the other link you dropped? <laughs> Tell me what it was. <laughs> right, Ministry? Freaking Bon Jovi. I had a full length poster of him. It was door size. And he was like leaning against, up against the door frame. Yeah. Oh, and I had a brand new 1987 bright red Camaro with an IRAC hood. With all the gauges inside and everything, you know, that would light up nice and bright. Thanks, Adair. Yep, brand new. And I went to so many concerts. So many concerts. I loved it. But I'm going to uh, head off to Bobbles and try to find out what that link was, Kai dropped. <laughs> I know I'll see you all there. And Ministry, I'll. Uh, they, uh, if you want, you could just come in onto your other account, and I'll just say that's you. Um, if you want to do that, or I will send her. I'll also tell her. I'll send her a quick um, email right now before I go in there. But thank you so much, you guys, for being here for the pre Bobbles live stream. It's babbling with Bobbles and Zufus. Like I said, you know. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but there is some pretty funny, uh, funny things going on in there. The people are funny. I, I've, I've had, I've laughed in there before with tears rolling down my eyes. She's funny. Bye, everybody. Peace, love, and tacos. Love ya. See ya in a bit.